In China, the pet industry continues to boom. The market has more than tripled in the past decade, reaching about 39 billion U.S. dollars last year. Related sectors are also growing, including the veterinarian industry. One of Asia's largest pet business exhibitions was held in Shanghai. Companies from 91 countries and regions took part, showcasing the latest pet food and goods. Around half a million people attended. The number of pet dogs and cats in China has surged in the past 15 years, reaching about 120 million in 2023. Fueling this trend is a rapid increase in single-person households. It's said these people keep pets to ease their sorrows. Young people get married late. I think pets are a substitute for children. The veterinarian industry is also booming. People want to stay with their companions as long as possible, so they seek out advanced medical care. China didn't grant a national qualification for veterinarians until 2009, so most medical staff are still in their 20s or 30s. The industry employs about 170,000 people now, but more are needed. Liu Weijia and Harriel live in Hangzhou City. Ten years ago, Liu took in Harriel. A female husky that had been abandoned and was about to be euthanized. I like a quiet life, staying at home, and so does she. Harrel would be about 90 in human years. She suffers from diabetes and has almost no movement in her rear legs. Because she gets so many drugs, I split them up into weekly portions. This is what she takes every night. She also underwent surgery for breast cancer five years ago. Liu is looking for an animal hospital in her city, where Harrel can receive the highest level of medical care. Harrel's monthly medical checkups cost about four hundred dollars. I want her to recover as much as possible. Because the industry is still young, veterinarians in China lack the experience of their overseas counterparts. Therefore, the hospital regularly invites experienced veterinarians from Japan to provide advice. Health checks on dogs and cats have found that many of them have high levels of lipid in their blood. For example, it's clear that obesity causes weakened blood vessels, fatty liver, and cancer. Food is the most important thing. Veterinarians started in China later than in other countries, so it's taking time to catch up with them. We need to continue studying. As the number of single-person households continues to surge, so will China's pet population and the need for veterinarians.